Hi, my name is Matthew Belisario. Welcome to another edition of the Belisario Sonic YouTube channel. Uh, I appreciate everybody, all the su subscribers out there and uh, the comments that everybody is leaving. And uh, if you like the video, I appreciate you clicking the like button. And uh, for those of you who haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe and uh, you'll get uh, an alert that lets you know when the, uh, another video is available. Um, today, I just wanna make a quick video about caring for your vinyl. I know a lot of people have made uh, different videos on it and you have some people that uh, spend a lot of money on on uh, you know record washers and all kinds of stuff like that I'm gonna tell you what I do for my record collection in caring for it so it'll be a very brief video but I just wanted to share with you what I do and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section on what you uh, what you do first thing um, never touch the records with your fingers and this is just kind of Vinyl 101, and I don't know how many people I see uh, touching, even though they touch the outside of the of the the vinyl with their fingers. Don't touch any part of the vinyl with your fingers because it doesn't matter whether you're touching the outside part of the record or not. Your oil gets on the the record, and if you don't clean it off and you put your record down, um, your your stylus is going to collect that oil over a period of time. And um, I just, you know, number one, just don't ever touch your, the records with your fingers. There's no reason to. Just I, What I do is I buy, um, I bought a pack of these uh, 12 by 12 um, claws and they're microfiber claws. And I just pull them in and out of the sleeves with, with, by holding them like this. So that's what I recommend doing. So that's number one. Never touch the records with your fingers ever. Doesn't, you know, there's no reason to. Um, second off, uh, as far as, uh, when I get a new record, I always pull it out of the sleeve. Um, and nine times out of 10, it's going to have static electricity on it. I'm finding unless it's one of these really high quality pressings that comes with an anti-static sleeve. Uh, generally if it comes out of a sleeve, like uh, this one that I got with my Vin Lizzy jailbreak record. Um, that has a slick inside. It's not a bad sleeve, but it's got a slick inside. And when it comes out, it's usually got static electricity on it. So what I do is I'll spray it off with a cleaner. Right now I'm using this boundless uh, boundless cleaner and it seems to work really well. It's anti-static. I do you know three sprays on it, wipe it off with the microfiber cloth. And I'm good to go. I was previously using this G2 groove washer and I then I couldn't find it again uh, online. So I ended up getting this other one and it works just as well. Um, now for used records, if they're a little dirtier than normal, I'll wipe them off with the microfiber cloth with some water and then I'll use the solution on them and, and, and wipe them off. Um, in general, I don't have a need to, to deep clean records. Um, when I buy them, they're usually in, in pretty good shape and they haven't been stored and, and they don't have any, or they haven't been stored in a bad place where they've got, you know, a lot of uh, dirt on them or uh, mold or anything like that. So um, for, for me, that's the only reason I would uh, invest in some kind of uh, uh, record cleaner. You know, one of the ones that's like 500 bucks and above where you put the record in a solution and it, it spins it for you and all that kind of stuff. Um, for me, it's not worth an investment for me. Uh, most of my records are, are in good shape and they're fairly clean. And just by using one of the microfiber cloths and what I do is I have a little bit of a thicker 12 by 12 microfiber cloth that I'll lay down and then I'll lay the record on it. And then I'll use these microfiber cloths to clean it. And then um, after a week or two, I'll uh, throw these in the wash machine and then I'll rotate through some other ones. So I always use clean ones. Uh, you know, I don't let them get dirty where I'm scratching up my records with dirt that was on there before. So um, keep, you know, fresh cloths and just throw them in the wash machine with your clothes and wash them every so often and you, you'll be good to go. That's what I find works the best. Now, as far as sleeves go, if I buy like this Thin Lizzy record that I bought, Jailbreak, um, even though the sleeve is not terrible, I don't like putting it back in because it's not anti-static. Um, I, I will use a MoFi sleeve for something like that, especially if it's, you know, a $25, $30 record or whatever. Um, and it's not in an anti-static sleeve, I'll go ahead and spend the money, put the MoFi sleeve in. 
Um, so that's what I uh, did with this Thin Lizzy record. So I'll store those uh, right here in the anti-static sleeve and slide it in with the other one. Now, um, I, I'll keep every single one of my uh, records in a sleeve, uh, and I'll use different ones. And um, for the inner sleeves, I'll use either the MoFi. I've tried some other ones that are MoFi knockoffs, and I still have not found one that's consistently good. So if any of you out there know of one, please leave a comment and tell me what it is. I've tried the Big Fudge. I've tried a, you know, a couple different ones off Amazon. Every time I get them, they're too small or they're inconsistent. One of them will fit the record. The next one will be so small that it tears it or bows up the record. I haven't had good luck with that. So I stick with the MoFi for those, those nice sleeves. Now, what I will do is if one of the records comes with a decent paper sleeve like this, which is not a terrible sleeve, but as you can see, you know, it leaves a little bit of the edge exposed. It's not, not the best, the best sleeve. However, I just bought you know a cheap used record here big generator yes it was like six bucks i think it's like a, a excellent shape very good plus plus sounds pretty good but you know it's a cheap record and what i'll do is the new records that come with these kind of sleeves i'll save them and then when i get a record like this that needs a better sleeve i'll go ahead and use that sleeve for this um particular record so i'll you know that's that's what i do with those uh, and then when I store these, instead of sliding this up to where the record slides against the inside of the jacket, I'll slide them in like this. So that way there's less chance of it getting um, scratched uh, from that little exposed part there, right? So if I slide it in the sleeve like this and just drop it in there like that, the next time I go to get it out, I'll just tip it up, grab it with my cloth, pull it out, drop it on the record player. So um, on the turntable and I'm good to go. And then I just, uh, depending on the size of the record, like this is a really thin record. So I'll get the thin clear ones for that. Uh, I will buy extra large ones um, that will work for the triple gate folds, things like that. So for example, I just bought this, uh, really neat live box set left overture and I have the sleeve that's just big enough for this to slide into it. So that's what I do with those. Um, I did, uh, I can't find these other sleeves. So again, if anybody out there knows where I can get these, these are four mil real thick plastic sleeves. Um, and I found them on Amazon and I bought them for maybe six months and uh, they're kind of expensive but they were really nice for like these these triple or double these thick gate folds and it's a real thick four mil uh thick clear plastic and so i found that these were really good for putting the gate folds in so now i find myself uh where i used um smaller records in these um i find myself taking those out putting the gate folds in and replacing the sleeve that i had on the thinner record with something else just because these are so nice for the gate folds so you can see that they're really thick and uh, they have a nice lip on it and they're four mil. So they're, they're really thick plastic. So if any of you out there know where I can get something like that, that are big enough to fit a, uh, a double or a triple record in there, please leave a comment and let me know where I can get these at. Um, so as far as storing your records, just a couple of things that everybody should know. Don't stack your records. Don't lay them down and stack them up. You're gonna get rings and you're gonna warp your records. When you stand them up, stand them up so that there's not too much give, you know, too much lean on the record because um, the ones that are closest to where they're leaning are gonna bow. So you try to keep them straight up as much as you can. I, I leave a little bit of room in there where I can, uh, you know, fit a couple in there. Um, so I was moving them around there. You can see that's that's probably a little, a little much there to where it's leaning a little more than I like. Um, but I was kind of moving them around, making some room for some other records that I got that I'm going to fill in there. So kind of keep them straight up uh, when you store them. Uh, as far as how I keep them uh, stored, I have them separated into categories. And I kind of, I have uh, like rock, R&B, and oldies behind me. I've got a blues section, a country music section here. I've got a jazz and miscellaneous section and box sets over on this side. And then I have them all alphabetized 
within each genre. So that's kind of how I store those. Um, as far as the, uh, the, the stylus goes, uh, I clean it every once in a while with this little stylus brush and I'll just go from back to front and clean it. And I can, I look at it with uh, a little magnifying glass and a phone and I can see if it's got anything on it and then I'll just clean it. Um, and then as far as my turntable goes right now, I'm using a Rega Planer One, kind of an entry level mid five turntable. It's pretty good uh, for the price and it sounds pretty good. I'll hopefully be upgrading pretty soon. So I'll let you know what I'm going to do on that. Um, but I'll use, uh, I have a uh, cork uh, slip mat with the little circles, ray circles on it. And that's what I find works really well for the, for the records on the turntable, keeps them flat. I do have a record weight that I'll drop on there. And um, depending on if it's the thinner records or, or something like that, I'll use the record weight sometimes. And then I find that the anti-static qualities of that cork mat keeps the, 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 the records uh, static free. Uh, so that's pretty much what I do. Again, I use this boundless cleaner, use um, some of these uh, microfiber cloths and I'll wipe them down. Even if they're new, I'll usually go ahead and wipe them down with that to make sure they're static free. Um, and if they're used, of course, I'll always clean those off. Again, I find if they're a little more dirty, you can just use some water with a microfiber to do your initial wipe uh, with a microfiber cloth. Uh, and then I'll just go back over it with the solution. And uh, if they're really dirty, you want to be careful that you don't wipe the dirt, you know, scratch your, 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 the surface of the vinyl uh, with the dirt that's on the record. So you have to be kind of careful if there's more than an ordinary amount of, uh, of dirt on the record. But if it's just some light dust on the record, some of the used ones that I just purchased, like this Yes record had a little bit of light dust on it. I just took the microfiber, gently wiped the dust off. And then I took and sprayed it down with the solution and wiped it down and uh, works great. 95% of the time, I don't need anything else. So I don't have to sp spend a lot of money um, on, on cleaning or any, any of that stuff. I don't have any of the record washers. Haven't really found a need uh, for them personally, just because I'm, I'm kind of picky about what records I'll buy. I don't buy junk. Uh, if someone gives me a record or something like that, uh, and it's dirty again, I'll just uh, take some extra time to clean it off with water and then I'll use a microfiber cloth. And then again, just throw these in the washer every so often and keep them clean so that you're not, you know, rubbing uh, any kind of dust or dirt back onto the vinyl, the new ones that you're getting. Uh, so that's all I have um, for this particular uh, video. And again, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe. And I'd love to hear your comments. Again, if you guys know where those four mil uh, outer sleeves are the thick ones that I can fit double or triple gate folds in. Please let me know. I'd, I'd love to know where I can get some. And if you can find any of the inner sleeves, any static sleeves that are as good as a MoFi, uh, let me know because these are kind of hard to find sometimes and they're expensive. So I, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that if you guys have found anything that's a good replacement for those. All right. Thanks for joining me and we'll talk to you next time.